Aloha, welcome back to Practical Printing. Thank you for tuning into part two of our Moai series. If you're not familiar with the Moai SLA printer, I've got links below down in the description. Feel free to pause this, jump over there, take a look at the printer, and then come back when you're here when you're ready. Also, if you haven't seen part one of the series, you may want to jump over there and watch it first because it explains what needs to be done leading up to this part of the series. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to get this bad boy unboxed, then I'm going to inventory all of the parts and compare them against the spreadsheet that I showed you at the beginning of the first episode in the series. Now, I'm going to probably do that pretty much in high speed, but I'm going to make a point of stopping at any of the parts that have odd names or may not be self-explanatory as you're looking at the, the spreadsheet. So I want to make sure that everything is explained to you so that way you can easily identify every part as we go into the third video of the series where we actually start putting it together. All right, so let's switch cameras and see if we can bring that up. Okay, so I've already cracked the seal on this just to make sure that there wasn't any customs paperwork inside, and but I taped it back up with this blue tape to hold it. So let's get that off there. And see how this thing is packaged inside. Okay, so it looks like we have everything basically sealed together inside a foam box, which is really nice. There is a laser warning here. In the top of the box, NAPL Poly sticker, which is very nice. Now this is really nice, although it's foam in here, um, it, everything is inside of a sealed plastic bag so that even if there was any damage to the outside of the box or it was exposed to any moisture and shipping, everything inside is going to be nice. <clears throat> so let's see if I can lift this out in one big piece here. Okay. Move that other box out of the way. Now, the reason I wanted to do that, that's not necessary to unbox it, but you can see that there's a lower, a mid, and an upper level. There's cardboard separating each level and foam. I wanted to pull it out so that you could see the different layers here as we go through and unbox this and so that you can cross correlate. Okay, so I'm going to pull this plastic back down around it to expose this and I have the checklist here on my iPad and I will put it in the upper corner of the screen as we go through it and let's try to start unboxing this thing in high speed. Ah, one last thing before we do that. Gloves. It has been recommended that you wear gloves for handling some of the parts within here, such as the Galvo and the laser pieces. I'm just going to go with the single hand glove, but let's go with that. We'll lift off the first foam piece off the top, first piece of cardboard, and let's see what we have inside of here.
Okay, so I know that we went through the unboxing very quickly there on the time lapse, but I did want to bring your attention back here to the startup guide. Again, down here to section two or step two that we were looking at at the end of the first video in the segment. This is where we brought up that spreadsheet that we were checking the parts list against. What I wanted to bring attention to is that there's three pictures here, and I'll bring those up larger. Each of those pictures shows the contents of the box, not necessarily in what layer they came from, but it gives you a cross-reference for the naming convention for those parts so that you can easily find them and identify them. I am, however, going to take you back to the camera here and zoom in and just show you a few of the parts that I want to make sure and point out. Okay, so there's just a few more parts that I wanted to discuss and show you in detail here. The first one comes in this box and I pulled it out carefully. This is the Galvo laser unit and let me show you in detail here if I can. This is the laser here on this side. These tiny little things here are the mirrors. You want to make sure that you do not touch those with your hands and you're very careful not to knock any of the pieces on this out of alignment as they are calibrated to each other. So you want to be very gentle with this board if you can. Okay. The second piece I wanted to point out is the Galvo drivers. There's two of these and they are labeled, can you see that there? as X Galvo and the other is Y Galvo. These will get wired obviously when we're assembling it to drive those mirrors on that other board. But I did want to point out these have the silver and I'm sorry the gold and red paint on them. You do not want to adjust those potentiometers. Those are already pre-calibrated to control the Galvos on here. The Galvos are just the, the, the mirror mechanism that moves the laser around. So there are two of those, be careful. The last piece I wanted to point out is inside the power supply box. And I showed this briefly in the time lapse, but there's a piece that looks like this and you don't really want to touch it with your hands. Um, it is a piece of glass or possibly plexiglass, but it's there. But you do not want to touch that with your hands or get any fingerprints on it. This is not listed on the BOM as of the time of writing this, um, but I'll make sure that we include it in the build and it's documented on the user groups. Um, what that piece is, is a kind of a flash shield for lack of better words, or a drip shield. That's basically going to sit over the Galvo mechanism inside the printer so that if you remove your vat, your tank with the resin, or your build plate after a print and it hasn't hardened all the way or cured, that prevents it from dripping down and damaging your Galvos and rendering your printer completely useless. Okay, that about wraps it up for part two of the Moai series. In part three, we are going to start putting this bad boy together and following along with the manual there. Thanks for following along with us. We can't wait to see you on the next one. Remember to visit the links down below if you're interested in picking up a Moai for yourself or if you just want to know more about it. Until next time, aloha.